this is our second weekend. We woke up. I me, mean, I woke up 5.30, took my bath, came back to bed. She was still sleeping. And now the time is like 8 o'clock. And she's just waking up. In fact, everybody's still sleeping. Do you feel better now, Tony? So Fumi sent this from Wari to us. This is Tito's outfit for his, um, they are doing it into house sports. So he's dressing like a Delta guy. So this is the walking stick. So she made white shirt with a wrapper. So Tito is going to wear the white top. This is like a, I think Ijo or Ishakiri outfit. They need to dry clean this. We need to dry clean this. And then with green wrapper. Thank you, Auntie Fumi. Goes with the walking stick. I need Tito to, to come and test this outfit so that if we have to amend anything, we amend it now. And then, supposed to come with a cap, beads, coral beads, and um, a coral bead for the neck as well. And this very lovely hat. <laughs> so, this is the bead. She also helped me buy crayfish, big crayfish. I'm so happy because I've been looking for this big crayfish in Lagos and I've not been able to find it. This is the big crayfish. And she brought banga for me too. If you are not subscribed to my sister's channel, please go and subscribe. I'm going to put her YouTube channel on the screen so that you can subscribe. She really helped me. Like she was so helpful. You were saying that you were the king of your inter house sports thing. Yeah. See, this is your king outfit. Come and wear it. Oh, so, oh. so, uh, so I do tear second. Yeah, so this is the outfit on Tito. I love it. <gasps> so nice. Oh. Turn around. So Tito is tying a wrapper underneath green, representing greenhouse. Love it. I already, I already broke the walking stick, but you can manage this. Go and show your daddy. Daddy's coming. The moment of truth. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you think? What? Yeah. Hello guys. Hope you are doing well. If you can hear noise, it's fun. You guys, it is hot in this country. It is hot. Today is the children's inter-house sports. I was about to do makeup, but I was like, 
I remembered how it felt last year. We are going to be outdoors, sweating like Christmas goods. <laughs> and yay! And the weather has been so hot lately. Oh my gosh, I think I just actually recently lost this. Oh gosh, and the one I wanted to wear was the was the pink one. Maybe it fell on the floor. I don't want to use the unicorn one <laughs> because Tiara is going to fight me. I think I'll use this other pink one that looks like a diamond. But this pink would have been perfect. Let me wait. I got it from Mini, so maybe I'll be able to go back there and buy another copy. Oh, it's such cute earrings. I don't know what's making me sneeze. Excuse me. I feel like it's actually the stop making me sneeze. It's a black top with like this applique on it. And I ha this is my first time wearing it. I bought it recently and I feel like it is what is making me sneeze this one because I wasn't sneezing until I started wearing this. Tiara has gone to school, Tito has gone to school because they had to get there early for their March past. But I wanted to, you know, take my time, get Tani ready, get myself ready. So they went with their daddy. So now it's my turn to go there. So come with me. Today is in the house, but um, Tito is going to be the king of his house. So I made an outfit for him. Actually, my sister Fumi helped me make it and she sent it from Mori. It's a curry outfit for Tito, and I believe he's gonna look good because when I tested it, it looked nice on him. So I'm going to try and get some nice pictures of him today when he's wearing it i hope he doesn't stain it in fact i want him to use it for a photo shoot because the outfit is really nice making no waste you cannot just use it for his house but we have to use it for photo shoot and maybe add it to his birthday photo shoot the sun when really it shines from outside there eh? oh my gosh <laughs> i need to even find a hat to just protect myself my my pretty damn self she was crying now what is it what is it what this <laughs> tiara's a selfie camera this tiara selfie camera don't let tiara catch you i love what tani is wearing <laughs> say cheese she's wearing this matching top and bottom and we are both looking pink pink tastic let's go to the school let's go for inter house parts inter house parts <laughs> daddy let me even take you a nice picture before we go eh? let me take you a nice picture before we go Yeah, let's go and take a picture. Mm. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.
guys good morning today is going to be a very very busy day for me that's why i'm still lying down on my bed <laughs> today is my meal prep day the way i meal prep i like to cook in bulk things that will last maybe stew for three weeks and then other meals maybe a couple of weeks and some other foods a couple of days if you have a family meal prep is something that i don't think you can survive if you don't meal prep if not you'll be cooking every single day unless you have time because actually some people have time some people have time to cook breakfast lunch and dinner but me i don't so i have to meal prep pick one day i prefer to use one day to go to the market sort out the ingredients and then the other day for cooking but i i feel like i want to do everything today because tomorrow i have where i'm going um i take my meal prepping very seriously i have notes on my phone about the process is the process that makes it easy once you know everything you're going to cook let's say you know you're going to make stew you're going to make jello fries you're going to make a, maybe a furry roll the base for the jello fries the can you can use it for the let's say stew and you can just mix it up for the furry roll somehow like you can just simplify the process and streamline it if you plan so i've done my planning this morning it's just meant for me to motivate myself to get up from this bed and meal prep or like just get busy so first of all i'll go to the market i want to make fried rice i want to make stew moi moi but i think i'll leave that moi moi till tomorrow i want to make my chili sauce um i make some chili sauce that we keep in the fridge and we use it like for maybe noodles to garnish food make it taste better i also like to have like fried fish fried meat you know sometimes when you make a meal you can make a meal without having like the meat or fish on the side so i like to always have that boiled or fried so i'm going to do fried fish and i'm going to grill some chicken so it's going to be a lot of work which is why i'm, I'm still ch what i use also to make meal prepping easy for me is meal planning so meal planning is the process of you know making the plans having a full timetable and doing all of that it's been a long time i talked about meal planning and having a full time table i use a full time table because it basically saves my life if i don't have a full time table this year me see you year you are not going to see this year me see because i'll be going crazy i have a full time table i even have the one that you can use that you can download let me plug in my market i have a full time table that you can use and you can download you can use it for as long as six months I have two types i have one that is just the full time tables that you can use and repeat and all that and then i also have the full time table that has all the recipes of everything that is in the full time table you will not find it anywhere else so the link will be in my description box you can download for yourself you can download for your family if you have a friend if you know somebody that is always complaining like i don't know what to eat today i don't know what to eat tomorrow oh my gosh i'm tired of thinking of what to eat go and buy that food timetable for them like download it for them and, and gift it to them it's a wonderful wonderful gift and i also have cookbooks of course that teach you awesome awesome recipes so that's one of the way i've simplified my life for oh, the only hard work there now is getting the physical work done like food shopping and the actual cooking but when it comes to the meal planning and mental load that comes with meal planning i have simplified it for myself by having a full timetable and by having that meal planning book so it's not even the full timetable that is there it's just not only that it also has like meal planning tips and tricks and all the good stuff in there you need to get a copy and it is called there is food at what home because brethren this, this there's food at home i saw a tweet the other day and the lady was saying that she went to a restaurant and she bought jollof fries she paid twenty five thousand dollars for jollof fries and she was complaining i'm like that's see that's the price of food outside now if you go to fast food you probably get it for 5k but if you go to restaurants just know you are not living there with less than 20k and you know what 20k can do for you in the market 20k can at least cook a pot of soup that will last for a family for a couple of days 
So meal planning, very, very important. Let me see, you can do this. Get up. You can do this. It's the getting up that is the problem because once I get up and I'm in the zone, it happens. But it's just motivating myself to get up. That's the problem. But anyways, come along with me. I might not be able to film everything because I'll be working and filming while I'm meal prepping, serious meal prepping might be stressful, but you get to see a, a bit of what I do today. <laughs>